Hi everyone, Tula here. This isn't the sort of video I thought I would make. I have an unboxing to make and this isn't art supplies. It's a gift I made for my family and I ordered from Contrado and I'm really curious to see how these came out so I thought you could join me. Let's see. All right, let's do it. I've been working on this project for a long time. I'll get them out of the box. Okay, so these are um, toiletry bags that have, as I, I think I said, on one side there's um, um, a manipulated uh, image of a boat that we took the whole family in um, Alsace. France and on the other side I created a mandala of everybody's names and I enlarged the part with the specific person's names name and created color variations that I hope the specific person will like. There's ten of us Ooh. And since they are not individually wrapped, I will open it. Okay, here we are. So, Contrado is um, a company based in, in the UK. And they make products that can be... It's a print on demand. And this is the first item that I actually created and got from them. I did design a few. And this is a toiletry bag. They offer it in leather and in vinyl. And I didn't want any leather, of course. It's a little smaller than I thought. But that's good because this is... Um, meant to fit in a travel bag. Let's open it. This is all, they, they claim that everything is handmade in their um, factory, the base in, in London. And I did notice a few glitches, like here. But that's all right, and it makes sense with um, handmade item. I'll stop moving it so you can look. These are very expensive. This is sixty-nine dollars. This one. It costs sixty-one dollars if you only have an image on one side and not on both. And I think the leather is even more expensive than the vinyl. I'm not sure. This is satin. The printed part and they um, give a guarantee for 10 years. Inside it's supposed to be waterproof. It's got some lining. It's actually nicely made. I wish it had a little for selling items. I wish it had a little um, slip inside with my logo. No pockets, but it's quite generous size. Let's see. 
Okay, so this is, they say 21 and a half I think. It's about 20, 22 and a half centimeters on about, let's say 16. And the width is supposed to be 10. No, this is smaller. This is 9. Okay. And you can have the um, uh, vinyl in four colors. In black, in a sort of beige, a light pink and a light uh, p blue. Sorry. I wanted them to be similar all around. So this is nice. I hope it doesn't weather too much and the picture is blurry because that's how I designed it. I liked all the shapes. And this is just our villages where we live and this is a family saying. Came out really nice. It's a shame about the bump and I noticed one that has a lot more of them. <coughs> nice quality. Is it worth $70? I'm not I don't know. I suppose. Yeah, I don't suppose. I think um it's alright to pay for quality and I'm happy. I don't want to. <laughs> cut, cut, cut. <laughs> okay, as a person that tries to make a living out of creating things and not being able to compete with really, really cheap prices and cheap products I understand that um, everybody in the supply chain and the factory and the manufacturers have to be paid and paid fairly for their time and so I'm okay with paying for a quality product and I hope this will last 10 years that they promise <laughs> and I hope everybody loves their colors. You know what, maybe I'll open the rest. Okay, so here we are zoomed in so you can see the fabric and how well the print goes on it. You see? Some parts, do you see what's going on here? I noticed that quite a few of these bags have that. That's understandable, that's alright. My logo here is hardly seen. Doesn't matter. Okay, let's look at another one. So again, same. Again, the connection here. The colors here came really nicely. The white is very bright. And the turquoises, they're all a little bit more muted than they looked on my screen. But that's understandable. Nice. Another one. Okay. So this is going to become a very boring video now. <laughs> color changes here. 
they actually look nice on this satin. I have to try to let me see if I can focus. Hold on. Don't be mad. Can you see? It looks really nice in this part. And the size is exactly what I thought it would be. The um, name's mandala is cut exactly where I it showed me the um, oh now we are blurry stuff. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm happy. I'm really happy. Looks very nice. Another one. This one also has some jacket areas. Did I tell you that they give a 10 year warranty? Okay, this isn't, the fabric isn't tight enough here. But I was afraid with the yellows. And they look really nice, I like the the shades happening here. This is a more colorful one for my dad because he will love everything. It's nice. <laughs> I like it. Another one for my partner in crime. She helped me do everything behind everyone's backs. I didn't check the, the back on these. They look alright. Okay, another little problem here. Do you see that? It's not a... Um, it's all right. It doesn't matter. The colors are lovely on the satin. There's a really nice brightness in this area here. But I think it's like with watercolor paper that because of the ridges there's light reflection. I feel like this is what's happening here. light sheen a nice one so this is it you want to see close up is it blurry better I'm playing with the zoom okay. hoping that at some point it gets focused. Nice. Shade here. Okay. Ah. I'm going to be 50 at the end of the month and I thought this is a good occasion to give my closest family this gift for my birthday. And I hope they will love it, I really do. So here they all are. I've examined each one and I'm really pleased. They look slightly, if you are, are going to create one, they look slightly darker than my files. But that's understandable and my uh, monitor is um, color accurate. So I knew what the colors are going to be and of course based on the surface it makes sense that um, there's a slight difference. I really wish <laughs> um, they would add the ICC profiles for every, every surface that is printed on. I like to be exact. They look magnificent. They look well made. There are slight problems that are 
Well, it's not perfect, but that's all right and understandable. And I don't think it will bother you when you want to put your shampoo and your soap and pack your bag and go traveling. When we go traveling again. Yeah, the nice, the vinyl is much shinier than I thought it will be. I like shiny vinyl. <laughs> I hope everybody else in my family does. And again, 70, 69 dollars for each of these bags is a, a lot of money for me. But it's a special occasion and it's a special gift and there is a 10 year guarantee so if you consider that this is going to last for a long time I think that makes this, the cost doesn't seem as, as bad this is not something that's supposed to tear apart in a year or two see you soon, bye